The National Open Art now is in its 15th year and has become probably one of the top three or four truly open art um, competitions leading to this exhibition uh, in Great Britain. We are sitting here in a wonderful city with extraordinary um, cultural facilities. So we've got the Chichester Festival Theatre, we've got the um, wonderful cathedral with the Shargar window, the Sutherland, we've got the Cass Foundation of Sculpture, we've got Palant House Gallery, which is hugely important, just housed the Frida Kahlo, we've got West Dean, which is Postgraduate Institute. So we're surrounded by these amazing facilities of culture. We take in work from Northern Ireland, from Scotland, from Wales, all the counties of Britain. We raise a um, considerable amount of money from, from patrons as well as from our sponsor and we managed to give £40,000 of prizes this year which is amongst the biggest um, prize amount for any competition in Great Britain, any open art competition in Great Britain. We saw all the work before just as uh, projections from um, from computer. So when you actually get the real work, it, it all suddenly has different scales and different colours and, and different focuses. I've already seen some things um, this morning that have, been, that have been really strong, so I'm looking forward to getting, seeing it all together. Well, competitions are tough because, um, you know, maybe one in ten is going to get in. So it, it ha you have to steel yourself for possibly not getting in, but then if you do, it's exciting, you're in good company, you might win a prize. Um, you know, it, it's up to the individual whether they can take that um, pressure of a competition and the possible disappointment. I think it's always worth putting work in for as many open competitions as possible because actually, even if you, you don't get through or to the final selection, um, you know, your work does get seen by all sorts of people. Um, obviously, we've got some very high profile selectors, Gavin Turk and Catherine Lampert, and actually, you know, that will change again next year. What's wonderful about the competition is that there is that very eclectic mix of, um, of work. And, it, and it's not, um, you know, we're looking for good examples of all sorts of types of work and I think that, you know, a broad range of things is very well represented in the competition. So just hope that it continues in that sort of way. The Open Art Competition has been a great success for inviting photographers to treat themselves as seriously as perhaps more self-consciously artistic media like paint or sculpture. It's a tremendous thing to be able to say photographers are openly being judged by the same people and the same standards as older, more traditional art forms. I think it's a terrific thing to, to be associated with and there's lots of prize money and prizes available. Um, yeah, definitely encourage um, young artists to enter. I think it's a great platform for your work. I'd say enter your, your strongest piece and I'd enter cohesive work as a body of work. Um, perhaps, you know, two or three pieces um, from a series that makes sense when you look at them together. Um, I've had um, many chats with Neil about the future of the competition and he's hugely ambitious, as we all are, for, for its plans. I think definitely London exhibition on the horizon and regional shows, perhaps elsewhere as well. Yeah, I think the sky's the limit with this competition. How great to have such a lovely collection in a marvellous space like this. Yes, we're very lucky to have yeah. yeah, no, 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 it. It's absolutely yeah. lovely. Yeah. I think you've got a very good panel of judges because actually there's no dominant taste or medium. There's a, there's a great range, and I think that's that's well, terrific. That's awesome. it's always difficult to, you know, to pick the judges, and they rotate. We don't. We have a maximum three years. Um, Gavin's been three years, and Catherine's been three years, so they're about to move on. I just want to say what a great occasion this is um, for us at the National Open Art Competition. It's, um, as many of you know, it's the 15th year that um, we've held uh, a competition based from Chichester. This year we had a record number of entries. 
and a very, very successful exhibition um, in the Minerva Theatre. And um, behind me are the 21 winning works which shared £40,000 of prizes this year, making us um, one of the perhaps biggest three uh, open art, truly open art competitions in Great Britain. <laughs> Finally, uh, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to our headline sponsor, Tari, with their 21 offices right across Great Britain, and they've been hugely supportive to us. And we've also got to say a huge thank you to our trustees and our patrons and our friends and all the volunteers who make this possible.